My name is Ramon Sandoval Gonzalez. I'm doing this with you because I want to share with everybody my experience. I see people saying that they go to hell and they back. Do you believe in the, in the existence of hell? It's darkness. Do you like? Do you actually believe that God sent people there after they die because of their sins? For whatever you do, He wants you there no matter what. He's not human. Only human punish and judge. He's not human. When you reach Him, He wants you there. You probably don't want to make it across the door or want to cross no matter what. But you going to have the opportunity to come back again to, with another chance as a new spirit, a new, as new life. When you, do, when you don't pass the grade in the school, you go back to the same grade. But sometimes people are nicer. And I understand they probably go to another universe. That's the reason multi-universe are there, because of reincarnation. By science, I know that probably if I tell this to a science person, they don't wanna, they don't wanna believe me. But they had the theory of multi-universe. And that's the reason multi-universe are there because reincarnation. That's the reason the physics has the theory of another Ramon in another universe or another you in another universe because reincarnation. They have the theories, but they don't know why, how that happened or the reason this happened. I know because I already went in the other side and I already know what is was. I already see so many places in this size, in the dark, to the point I know how the universe started. And the reason the universe started is the white hole. That's, that's physics has that in a theory. And I don't think they ever gonna see one because that's the beginning of the universe. It's the same process like the human body. When the white hole penetrates big in the dark, big in the dark, produce the big explosion. And that's, that explosion starts to expand in the darkness with light. As the, as the spirit energy in the belly of the woman starts spreading with light. It's the same thing. The universe is expanding with light. A pregnant woman expanding with life. It's the same thing. And about darkness, about hell, I even don't see that as hell no more. But still, I don't like that place. That the reason is people are so scared about the, dar the darkness. And it's no fire. The Catholic priest asked me about, the, about hell, and I told him, Father, the big mistake religion teach, especially Catholics, is telling people hell is fire. You know why, Father? Because when they get there to the place I saw, the fire produced light. And they probably gonna turn around and they're gonna go the other way. And the other way is not good, Father. It's darkness. And you base hell just thinking when you're somebody's born in your body. You imagine your body in hell. And it's not like that, Father. The fire can burn my body. I don't have a problem with that, Father but cannot touch my spirit energy because that's what I am. That's what I am, Father. Light, white energy. The fire is white energy too. And, and the Father don't send nobody to hell. The Creator don't send nobody to hell. That, he sent you to reincarnation, but He don't send you to hell. Some of those people, they are so mean, killers, rapers you mentioned they probably they don't want to see the light because i know people who had the experience and they don't see the light they went to the other place they change some of those people they change they told me that they don't like the experience they change but you are the one who decide stay in the light or go to the dark because the, the father he don't want to send you to hell he is going to send you to reincarnate, but you probably don't know, or you probably gonna, still going to believe what they teach you about fire is hell or hell is fire. 
and then you're probably going to go to the other place, to darkness. And that's the wrong place to go. I always tell people, stay in the bright side. And everything I write at the bottom, I always stay in the bright side. Because that's what we are. Why energy? My spirit is spirit energy. Light. Anything why light. Anything. Another experience I have. It was not because of quantum physics. I never, is no way I can understand what I saw. When I was like 10, 10 years old, in one of my dreams, I see the double slide. Do you know about the double slide experiment? Mm. If you go to quantum physics, it's a very popular, pop popular experiment. They don't know why this happened. They throw energy to that part particles, to those two slides, to those openings. And when they see it to the other side, it's, now, it's not two signals in there, it's five, seven signals lines of light in, in the other side. So I was in this experiment, and this, in my case, I don't went through those openings. I went around, and I see, I don't see that or energy, but I see figu figures, some kind of life form. And that's another reason why I think we are white energy because of that experiment. Check in internet for the for the this slide experiment. And, and I was in there. At, the, at, the, at 10 years old, I don't know what was quantum physics. I don't even knew about anything in my little town in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. And but then now I know what I saw, thanks to them, thanks to science. No thanks to religion, thanks to science. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. The only way to go, people go to hell is because they don't know or because, or because whatever they do was way too heavy and they cannot go to the light. But still, like I said, the creator wants you there no, no matter what. I tell people, I don't care what you do. If you don't see the light, look for the light. Don't give up. If you don't see it, call him. He will pull you out of any place in the dark. But don't give up. Because if you give up, then you stay there. And then you disappear. You just will be darkness. So what happened to people in the darkness? Did they just stay there forever? What? That's it. I think that's one of the reasons in the universe. It's like... I think it's like 70, 70%, 75% of the universe is dark energy. Like 25, I think it's dark matter. And like five percent is white. I think dark and even dark energy. Science know already. They are pulling us away faster and faster than the beginning. So eventually we don't gonna see stars. It's dark energy the one who's really screwing up everything. Yeah, but I'm still confused. Like the people you say that goes to the dark side. What happened to their soul? It's just going to be there forever. But you become will they be part in torment? Will they be in torment or they are just in darkness? No, that's just darkness. You stay in there. You disappear as darkness. Do because, they have... because dark energy is energy too, but different energy. Yeah, but do they still have consciousness in them? Can they see it? Or they one are just... One time, I was sitting in my bed and I feel like something got through me. And I feel like dizzy. And I start feeling like I was going and going, and then I say, wait, how about my own con my own conscience? Still, I want to have my own conscience. And then right there, they stop. And I think it was darkness pulling me away, because you don't have idea how many times dark attacked me, tried to stop me to do what I'm doing. Another time, this is another person who I can tell he was ready to go soon. He treated his wife so bad. And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, this man gonna have problems the day he, go out, he goes away. Because it's your conscience, you face your conscience. That was going on. You don't face the creator, you don't face the God, you face your own conscience. So then 
One day I start talking to him when he was in bed and I start talking about God. And then he told me, Ramon, a mí no me digas nada de Dios porque yo no, because I don't believe in every, everything the Bible says. I don't believe in that kind of God. No, I don't believe it. So then I told him, thank you for telling me that, my friend. I'm going to talk to you about God, but in a different way. And I explained to him that en that energy we will do a little body and we will born to the material life. And the reason is because the process is you're going to grow up and reproduce your own energy with a woman. That's the reason we are here, because that energy. We have to produce that energy. Eventually, your body cannot hold your spirit no more. Because you're getting old. And then you're going to jump out of your body and you have to go to him, to the Father. And when I told that to that man, he goes like this. Ramon, that way I believe it. Because I, what I told him was based in science. So then he said, that way I believe it, Ramon. Okay, so don't forget. You have to go to the light. One day, he passed away. Oh, but before before I find out he passed away, I had, I had problems. I had problems the night before. I was sleeping when I hear a horrible noise. My my spirit energy gets so scared. I jump out, and I can tell I get out of my body. And then I realize I was going down because when you go to the wrong place. You don't feel like you're going up. You feel like you're going down in the dark. I was scared, but still, at the same time, I was trying to understand what's going on. This is total different experience than the first one. Keep going down, and that horrible noise don't stop. I'm looking in every direction, and everything was dark. So then I look up, and I see a little window up there. And I can tell with a very weak light, and I can tell what my, the light of my room. And the light was coming from the three windows, from, this, from the light from the street. That the reason was so weak. Oh, when I realized that, I just go like this. No. When I do this, right away I wake up, and my heart was, do you know what? You can be dying, and you don't get it. You don't realize you are dying. So then I just wait a little bit to calm down. I wake up, turn the light on. I went to drink some water or went to the restroom, come back, sit in my bed, and I just go like this. I don't have idea. Who the hell are you? I don't understand why you are in so much hurry to pull me out of my body. And then I go, I just go like this. You know what? I'm sorry if I'm bothering you or if I'm screwing up your business. But you have to wait until the time I go because in the meantime, I belong to the light. And then I went to bed and I fell to sleep right away. When I went to the street, to the street, start driving, the door or the man, I just told you, call me and asked me if I can take her to the hospital. And then in the way they told me he passed away. So then right there I understand when this man passed away, he dead, he get dead, but he was in front of the light and in front of the dark. And they asked him, Where, with who do you want to go? And then he remembered me and told them, I go to the light. And, and it's very obvious, the other one. He was so sure he gonna get his spirit because he was so mean. And then he asked, why the light? Because Ramon told you, Ramon told me. Ra Ramon told me to go to the light. So I understand why he attacked me the night before because I already told him to go to the light. So he don't get his spirit. When you are so mean with people, only because you wanna be mean, that's bad. That's one of the reasons I always tell people, try to be fine with your own self. Be great with your own self. And then you're going to be okay. 
Because when you're okay with yourself, you're okay with everybody, well, you're okay with God too. But no, he don't punish no one. He don't send nobody to hell. You, we are the one who screw up the whole thing because we don't know. We create a whole bunch of things, for example, the sin. I don't think that's bad at all because without having sex with a woman, even if you are married or you are not married, the spirit energy is the same. But religious people, they don't see that. They don't see that. So since you, you started having this experience, are you still afraid of death? No. Like I told you, you don't even know you are dying. And I don't mean dying. I, you don't even know you are leaving your body. That's the way I see it. You can pull by the dark and you don't realize you are leaving your body already. But when you realize, like in my case, when I realize that, he's trying to confuse me, I jump on him and punch him big time. And besides, I know we are never alone, not even in the dark. The Creator, the creator is always watching you, everywhere. So I tell people, we are being so light. Try not to forget that.